Welcome to your favorite Grandmaster Warden of Nothing guide. With all three champions, Void Shields, and a Solar Elemental Singe, loadouts for this strike are simple, with two players wanting Arbalist, a Solar SMG such as Kallus' Mini Tool, or a Solar Scout such as Staccato, and a Solar Rocket such as Hezen Vengeance or Ascendancy. With the third Guardian wanting a Kinetic Scout like the Night Watch, a Solar Trace Rifle like the Retraced Path, and Galahorn. For class loadouts, hunters either want to rock Mobius Quiver with Trapper's Ambush, Vanishing Step, and Omnioculus, or Blade Barrage with Knock em Down, On Your Mark, and Star Eater Scales, or Aeons. Warlocks want to spec into Well of Radiance with Icarus Dash, Touch of Flame, and either Phoenix Protocol or Aeons, and Titans want to run Ward of Dawn with Bastion, Control Demolition, and Heart of Inmost Light, or Thunder Crash with Curious of the Falling Star. As always, these are strictly recommendations, so if you have something in mind that you feel would work better, feel free to throw it on. And if you found the slowdown section helpful, please do me a huge favor and hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. With all that being said, let's get into the strategy. Spawn in and make your way through the single goblins to the first room, where you'll clear out the goblins, fanatics, and overload minotaur. Proceed through the door and scan the console to move the train, then work your way through this hallway, being careful of the trains coming down the middle. Drop down to the next hallway and move your way through the tracks, avoiding trains that alternate between the tracks. Being careful of the explosive barrels, take out the hydra, goblins, phalanxes, and unstoppable incendiar. Next, make your way to the middle of the room, avoiding the trains, and take out the barrier hobgoblin and trash ads. Next, you can jump on top of the left train cable and run on top of it to the end of the train hallway. After that, kill the unstoppable incendiar, the rest of the trash ads, then the barrier colossus. Advance to the next room and kill the explosive barrels and trash mobs, being especially careful of hobgoblin snipers. Using the staircase as a head glitch, kill the Hydra and then the rest of the trash adds as well as the barrier sniper hobgoblins on the top left and right. You can then move forward, being careful of the trains, and take out the adds in the front, focusing the regular minotaurs. Once the named minotaur boss spawns, allow them to teleport to the middle of the arena and burn it with your supers and rockets. When the boss dies, the rest of the adds will despawn, at which point you can advance to the next room. After advancing, kill the trash adds at the entrance and then the two unstoppable incendiaries, then proceed through the room being careful of the explosive canisters and two scion snipers on the balconies in the middle. In the back of the room, you'll take out the regular incendiar and the scion snipers at the right and left, or simply use invisibility to run past them if you have it. Move up the grav lift and clear out all of the adds in the middle, being careful of the scion snipers on the ledges, the overload minotaur, barrier colossus, unstoppable incendiar, and the two barrier hobgoblins. After you kill all of the adds, you will begin the mines phase. Here's how the mines work. Mine A spawns immediately along with the barrier hobgoblin and unstoppable incendiar on the front right. Once you capture Mine A, Mines B and C will both spawn, along with an Overload Minotaur at the back of the arena where the Solar Cannon spawns. The mines last for 60 seconds and will explode, wiping you once they hit zero. While a player is on the mine, the timer does not decrease. The best way to do this is to delay the capture of A while you wipe all of the champions and as many of the adds as possible, especially those at the future location of Mine B. Once A is captured, Mines B and C will spawn, at which point you'll want to move to Mine B and capture it as a team. Next, stick to the left balcony and kill the Overload Minotaur together. After killing the Overload Minotaur, move to C as a team and capture it together as well. Alternatively, you can have an Invis Hunter take C safely by themselves without having to worry about these adds altogether. You don't need to be lightning fast, but you do need to keep a decent pace. Play together and focus mobs together and you will be fine. After capturing all of the mines, the named Colossus will spawn in the middle of the room. Killing the Colossus will despawn all other enemies and allow you to progress to the next room. One more thing I do want to note before we move on to the next section is that during the mines phase, sometimes the Overload Minotaur that spawns with the B and C mines will respawn after you kill it. I have absolutely no clue what triggers this, but in my experience, ignoring him still resulted in a platinum run as long as we killed him the first time. I can't guarantee that will happen for you, but that was our experience. With that being said, fall down to the chest room and open the chest. Then fall down the tube, optionally going one at a time to avoid Goomba stomping and killing each other. After that, you can kill the four champions in the Thunderdome. I recommend killing the Overload Minotaur, then the Unstoppable Incendiar, then the Barrier Colossus, then the Barrier Hobgoblin. You can also get some Aeon finishers here if someone on your fire team has them equipped to make sure that everyone has at least four rockets for the boss. After killing the final champion, you'll spawn the boss. This is simply a DPS check where you'll want to utilize your Well of Radiance or Bubble as well as any Blade Barrages and Thunder Crashes you have 
followed by every rocket you can throw at him. There is no reliable way to survive in here, so you've just got to kill the boss before it kills you. After that, all you have to do is hit those like and subscribe buttons down below if you found this video helpful. You can also join my Discord server linked in the description below to find teammates to run this with who have also seen this video, and stop by my live stream at twitch.tv slash macdix for live gameplay and Grandmaster Nightfall carries. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.